We dropped all that criminal raiding while we were gone in Vlandia, though. That's good. So we can we can do some more tricky stuff if we want. So 30 relations. That's huge. We should have a lot of options here. Yeah, everything but the gang trial. We can do the grand heist, insurance scam, robbery. Let's do the force tribute. That one seemed pretty fun. And we've got six people to help us. So I don't think we need... We don't really need help with these guys. Uh, they're already here. Let's just take them. I think I might have accidentally clicked that we need help. George! <laughs> Oh, do you see that? That uh, <laughs> Friar Tuck's got like uh, reflexes like a cat, man. He turned and blocked really quick. All right, Friar Tuck, and you that's oh, he actually killed somebody. I'm kind of surprised. I thought uh, priests weren't supposed to do anything. Yeah, so a little bit of upgrade for everybody. Five renown. We're pretty close to clan tier zero. Uh, we didn't get criminal rating for that, I don't think. So that's pretty good. 750, a little bit of skill here, got some tactics. So that's that's not a bad uh, that's not a bad one to do. And relations at 34, that's huge. Let's do the noble extortion because we can do that one again. That one gives us a ton of relations as well. It's it's, it's really a, a fast way to get, get through a lot of this. So, uh, And again, we don't care what these guys' relationship are. So we're just going to do the one that gives us maybe not plus 10 criminal rating. I think we'll just do the one that does plus 5. I'm fine with it. And we're really close now. 39, wow. Yeah, we just need to wait uh, maybe a day or two. Or we could do a tournament. And again, it's some more Uggs. I guess we'll try. Come on! So let's get up a little bit. Smack him in the head. We do have some decent athletics now, so our, our posture bar doesn't deplete quite as fast as it did in the beginning. And as that goes up, it's going to be much easier to do these tournaments. Although, as we start increasing our armor rating... It'll probably go up slowly. I don't think we'll we'll get too much good stuff. I mean, we're getting Uggs right now, so obviously that's not a huge boost. All right, who wants them? Little John's already got that brand. Yeah, and the Hammy Down Trail begins. Everybody's got a little bit of an upgrade here. So we we reached 10k for the first time. That's good. We we can definitely afford a lot more companions now. So I think we should probably pick up the pace on recruiting. I would love to get to say 20 or so. Yeah, see, we're not we're not quite there yet, and we are not quite at our uh, party limit capacity. That's I, I think it's going to take us a while to reach these because you know we're not obviously recruiting regular troops. So kind of a fun fun concept. I, I really enjoying this so far. All right, and fortunately we can recruit Will Stutley. Oh. <laughs> Don't be coy with me, boy. You know who I am. You're one of the merry men. And he does have some throwing skills. So what we'll do is we'll take throwing weapons off of Friar Tuck. And we'll give it to, to Will. And again, you kind of know the drill here. Now with the throwing, we could do Shield Breaker. That might actually not be a bad idea because breaking shields is a, a little bit easier to do in RBM. So it might actually be worth doing that. Just blasting the shields out. I don't think the draw speed is going to make a big difference for the AI. So let's go that one. I know it's a little different from the normal. Uh, melee weapon usage of the throwing weapons, not really good on the AI. I don't know that they even do that if they have a sidearm. Dealing extra damage to horses is huge. So let's do that. Hopefully we can take some horses out. And then same thing here. So let's go ahead and take the pine needle, pine javelins, and let's give it back to, give it to Will Stutley. Uh, we just got rid of all that gear too. That would be nice to, to give it to him. Oh, well, not a problem. So we're up to seven now. We do also need to make sure he's got a mount. He does not... You get a mule. Everybody gets a mule. Yeah, I think if we can get to 10, we'll be in a really good spot. We can take some, some more risky fights. Hopefully build up a nice little stockpile of shields and some other gear that we can hold on to. And we probably should start saving up a little bit more food. Yeah, especially some of these ones that are a little harder to come by. So let's do 10. Uh, I think 5 of everything else is fine. We shouldn't have any issues with any of these other ones. A date fruit for sure is the hardest one to keep when you're in Batania. And let's see, so we got Arthur of Bland. That's another one of our merry men. So this guy is going to be one of our first ones that uses a bow and arrow. So let's check him out. Yeah, so he doesn't start with a bow and arrow. Uh, he does use two-handed and bow and a little bit of athletics. We're just going to have to let him deal with what he's got. Actually, you know what we should do, probably, is take the two-hander we have and let's just give it to him. And then when we get to our when we get to civilian settings, we'll just toggle uh, 
our primary is into our civilian outfit. That's fine. We'll, we'll make it work. We want him to make sure he's leveling up the skill that he's going to use in the long term. And two-handed is, is one of the ones that he's got. So we'll just do that. And then as far as two-handers go, we're going to use the same principles here. And then same thing with the bow. Let's just keep things consistent. Oh yeah, we do need to make sure he's got something to ride. He does not. So let's give him a horse. And we are starting to run a little close to, to running low on money. We do have a wage of 32 per day, and then that'll shoot up soon as we start to level our companion. So do we have to be a little cautious there? Uh, oh, <laughs> more Uggs. I knew it. I always wanted to have another pair of Uggs, like the 15th pair of this campaign. <laughs> Nice. And we're getting really close to clan tier one, so let's keep an eye out for that. It will, like I said, it will make it a little bit harder to sneak into towns. Yeah, we're not quite there yet, so we might want to do... Yeah, I think, actually, I think we're okay right now. Sneaking in shouldn't be too bad. Now let's see who wants the Uggs. Yeah, our new guy wants the Uggs. Arthur or Bland, enjoy. All right, let's do one more round of the towns. Let's go check out Theonon. And then we'll probably head out for our first real serious mission quest. Whatever you want to call it. Right. Get, get him, little John. You show that lady. He's not too good with the women, but uh, he makes a good uh, wingman. All right, we are already run relations, so we can attempt. We can attempt to take over the town. Let's go talk to her. Uh, sorry, it's under the Fuburi. So we could do, do a gang trial. I think we're going to go for it. And let's use the two-hander, because that's where we have our skill. It's not going to be easy, but if we lose, it's really not a big deal. We just have to wait a couple days to try it again. So let's cross our fingers. She's a savage. She's probably going to beat us up pretty badly, but we'll at least give it a the old college try. We need to play defensive. Yeah, I think we just play defense here. Wait for her to make a mistake. Oh, she's draining our posture. We're almost out of posture. Oh, she takes a hit. Nice. Only 22 damage, though. All right, one more hit. Can we get a kick? Oh, wow, I barely got that up in time. Oh, she's so fast. And relentless. All right, let's get see if we can get a kick on her. Nope. Now, I know the animation is not showing on those blocks, but I am blocking. <laughs> She's just so fast that it doesn't have time to... Animation doesn't have time to catch up. Oh, this is a lot of blocking. Oh, we got her before she got that in. <laughs> I will take the ceremonial maul and take my place at the helm. We did it, boys. And I don't actually don't know if any girls... I'm sure some girls watch this, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, how about that? All right, now here's the thing. We could take it for ourselves, or we can take a partnership. If we do the partnership, we keep good relations. If we take the streets, we don't get hit that hard, and we make way more money. So obviously, we're going to take the streets. Oh, actually, it's a big relationship hit. Uh, this will be our base in this town, yes. So this is our home base. So you get to the screen under the Fuburi mod main base. Now you can see right here, we have quite a few options. We do need to hire some people to to be the paymaster and one for the enforcer. Enforcer is really not that big of a deal in the early game. We will for sure want to have a paymaster. And we're going to want to have somebody that's got roguery and then the enforcer needs roguery and tactics. So we'll probably just hire a companion and specifically build him for that. But we made it. We're finally here. And we don't really want to, uh, we don't want to assign any of our main guys to it. So we'll probably just hire some random person for that. But we made it. We're at least partly there. Let's see. Actually, is there anybody here? Nobody here. Let's see if we can find somebody before we go off. Because I would like to start stacking up those upgrade points. You get one upgrade point per week on default. Uh, I'll kind of go over that. Actually, let me see. Yeah, not having any luck finding anybody. Let's see. Last chance is going to be Carbansith. All right, so they do have somebody here. Uh, let's just take him in. And like I said, we'll build them back up. Let's let's get let's get back to the, the town first and then we'll we'll do it. These guys, they're not even scared of us. Jeez, we're like more than uh, almost double them. And they're not running, those Sea Raiders. So they must have some pretty good good uh, troops. And we've got pretty dumpy. <laughs> we need to get our guys leveled up a bit here. All right, Sanon. Yeah, let's let's label this guy the Sanon. Let's just label him the Sanon Treasurer, just so we don't have to confuse him with anybody else. And then we're going to do the same thing. We'll just drop everything down, reset all the perks. Everything gets reset. And then we're doing... 
He's going to be mostly roguery, so we'll just do the seven points there. We'll put his five points into roguery, athletics, the usual, and then probably just like one-handed or something. I don't, I don't even know that he's going to use any of this. He'll for sure be using the roguery, so that's fine. Okay, so let's put him... Oh, we need to drop him off first. So saying on treasurer. There he goes. All right, so he's there. 50 roguery. Now, here's the thing. We can upgrade these things on the left here. So smuggling, gambling den, and the body house. Smuggling's pretty explanatory. Gambling den, obviously explanatory. Body house is like a, uh, a brothel, essentially, I believe. Yeah, place of pleasure. <laughs> Maybe we can have little John be like the bouncer or something. Uh, so we can upgrade these when we get points. So we get uh, upgrades here, it'll show. Now, how you get upgrades is through here. You get weekly upgrades plus one with no bonus. We can spend some of our money if we want to spend money. We don't really have any money to spend, so we can't really do that. Uh, we've only got 2,400 right now. And this is, all these numbers are weekly, not, not daily. So, you know, whatever this is divided by seven. Right now, we don't have any income from anything and we've got corruption impact. We can adjust the corruption here. So essentially what this does is if we have whatever we set this at, like if we high, this is for the payment level, how much we're going to pay to lower our, our uh, criminal rating. So if we choose high, it costs us a lot of money, but we lower 10 per day. If we do medium, we get six, uh, sorry, weekly, not per day. So if we do medium, we pay a little bit of money, but we don't pay a ton and it, it lowers the, uh, it raises criminal rating by six and the same thing, nine. And if we pay nothing, we get 12. So if you see here, we pay nothing. It doesn't cost us anything here. We're not paying an expense but we're gaining 12 per week, which is which is pretty hard. So let's see what medium comes in at. 350, we can afford probably more than that. I don't think we need to do high though. I don't think we wanna spend 700 bucks a week. Let's just do medium. We can always lower it down later. And then, like I said, when we come back in a week, we'll be able to upgrade some of this stuff and we'll start making a passive income. And when I say passive, this is truly passive. We don't have to do anything for it other than clicking a button to set the points. So, and at some point we'll have to hire an enforcer and this will allow us to fill up our hangout, the warehouse, when we get the smuggler. You'll, you'll see, I don't want to go into too much because it's probably a little bit too much right now to take it all in at once. So, all right, let's start making our way south. So, what we have to accomplish in this one, ooh, let's pick on these little guys first. Yeah, we need to do this. If we can get extra shields here, that's going to be a huge, huge upgrade for us. Really, really need shields. We've only got one on, on little John, but that's not going to be enough. Let's get these guys up here. Alright, we're throwing some... Yeah, there we go. Throwing some javelins. Let's get some shots in here. Hopefully we can hit them. Ooh, there we go. Alright, let's get in there, boys. Ooh, wow, we barely dodged that. I, I actually thought that guy was down. We just barely got taken out. All right, nobody, nobody went down. We got two prisoners. We can sell them off. And with any luck, we'll pick up some shields. Oh, no shields. Man, that, that hurts. Might have some upgrades, though. That Norse hatchet's really expensive. Yeah, 160 compared to 900. Let's, sometimes it gets a little funky until we get out. Let's go back in and see what it does. 320. Yeah, that's fine. We'll give him that. So hopefully that's an upgrade. I don't know if it is, but either way, it's not that big of a deal. Let's go sell our prisoners so we're not slowed down this whole time. We're just about to head out on a, a fairly lengthy journey. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's top up on a little bit of beer so we don't have to stop because it's going to be hard to break into a town for that. Yeah, we'll take the Sumter horse and get rid of the old mule just so we have a clean stack here. Yeah, I think that'll work. So what we have to do now is our, our main mission is to head down into Asurai. We have to defeat the bandit base and capture one of the bandit boss and bring him back. So if we can do that, we're able to convert him instantly into a companion. So let's go down and do that. We may not get it on the first try because obviously there's a chance they could die. We don't have a mace. And actually with RBM, there's a chance of dying even from maces. So you're not safe. So we got to be a little careful here. Let's take the back route. It should be less congested here. This little highway. Okay, criminal rating went up by six. That's because we have the bribe payments we have is, is medium, which gives us plus six per, for every seven days. Now, remember, we lose criminal rating on a basis of one per day. So it's, we lose seven a week and we're only gaining six. So that, that's fine. We can afford to do it. We're not really gaining criminal rating. We're just, uh, we're losing one per week. And of course, I forgot to get rid of the prisoners. So they're slowing us down. <laughs> Whoops. And let's do some scamming while we're here. We do need to pay for the um, the hideout. 
No, we were just getting criminal rating. That's fine. Not really a big deal. Yeah, let's head south. There's going to be some desert bandits here. Let's see what they've got. Raider, tracker, hunter, and hurler. I don't like the sound of all that. That sounds pretty dangerous. So let's let's hopefully avoid these desert bandits as best we can, unless there's a small group like this. Raider and tracker. Let's see what actually the, the raider is. So better and raider is a shielded tier 2 troop. Okay, that's not bad. Shielded with some throwing stuff. Pine javelins. That's fine. So the raider's not too bad. What about the tracker? And that's an archer. I did not know that they had archers down here. That That is something with Duray military then. Mm, okay, well, we don't have shields. It's only two of them, though. Let's uh, let's try and show them what uh, what's up. So we're pretty even. Let's go loose formation. At least we'll have a chance to dodge some of their arrows. Where are they? All right, they see us somewhere through the trees. I don't see where they're where they're at. They may not be pushing in. Actually, they may be camping out on a hilltop. Oh, I see them. There they are. Yep, they're they're just chilling. Okay, well let's we'll maintain the high ground. I'll go down, use this tree as some cover, and maybe we can get some sniping done. Okay, that's short. We're gonna have to go a little higher. That's a hit. Oh, man. Oh, I want to try and hit that archer, but that's going to be a tough one. There we go. We hit the archer. Man, this is so hard to do. All right, that was the shielded troop. All right, they're pushing in now. Okay, they don't like getting shot at. However, if they push in, it's, it's a four on eight. So it's not really a, a smart idea unless they get their archers in melee, which I don't think they're going to do. Right, let's just try and get as many shots off as we can. Let's let's take the the closer targets first. Oh, they're showing. They're throwing at us. Oh, that was a headshot. Right, let's get back. Right, we're dodging. <laughs> we're dodging. They're they're throwing a lot at us. There's a hit. Oh no, we took one to the throat. Alright, one of our guys is down. We're in still we're still in good shape. We can survive this. Oh, get him boys. Oh, there's one down. There's two down. Three down. Oh, this is not good. Alright, we We're barely gonna survive that. Wow. Well they put up a hell of a of a fight there, that's for sure. Oh, we got level 75 athletics, so that'll help us a bit with our melee combat. Everybody else got a few levels here and there. Luckily, nobody died against. So we're, we're having some pretty good luck here. We got to be real careful with this, though. We could easily lose everything. And, oh, we got a shield. A really small shield. So that's unfortunate, but I guess it's better than nothing. Yeah, in RBM, they, they reduced the area that the shield blocks to, to be more closely related to the physical shape. Whereas in, in Bannerlord, the vanilla... You have a little force field that goes around the outside, so it blocks way more than it should. So that should be interesting to see how that plays out. Don't think any of these are going to be upgrades. We got a Masterwork Spiked Club. Wow. That'd be kind of cool if it's if it's a good weapon. Let's see how it does. And as far as... I don't really think we need party size increase here. I think we could probably use the prisoner size increase. It's going to be hard for us to fill out our party because finding companions is just going to be tough in general. So I'm, I'm half tempted to do stamina, even though we're not using crafting, but plus five is going to be nice. Plus we'll have a, a plus 10% less chance of prisoners. That's kind of a weird way to word it. Decrease prisoner escape chance by 10%. Yeah, so we'll have that. We're not going to be able to pair it with this one, but, but we will for sure pair it with this one. This is keen sight. 50 uh, prisoner lords 50% less likely so this plus this will be 60% less likely so I, I don't actually don't mind this party size is is important but I think in this case I think this is the right pick yeah you got to really change how you think when you're doing a uh, kind of an odd playthrough like this let's keep putting a little more points here I think maybe one more three and a steward should be enough to get us up to that 100 mark and again it, it may not look like much now but it's going to make a big difference soon Ooh, we got some we got some upgrades here and we forgot to choose uh, this guy doesn't matter at all he's not going to be any doing any fighting for us so this is pretty irrelevant uh but friar tuck did level up so he's got one-handed athletics and then obviously we're going to do the throwing again let's just keep buffing up his throwing and yeah, no other levels now we're pretty badly injured let's um uh, avoid getting killed here <laughs> if we can Okay, so we got 
a hideout. We're stuck some somehow. We're stuck on something. Let's uh, try and not get captured. So we found out where we're going to be fighting the bat the bandit boss, but we uh, we probably should have actually done that first and then fought bandits because now we got to wait a long time. So let's go see. Maybe we'll hang out at a village or something. And what's our healing rate? Healing rate is 8.6, and in here it's 15. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll hang out. All right, so we waited a few days. Now, one thing I I didn't check is, do party wages count for companions or not? Because if they don't, then I'd rather take the 10% less food consumption. So let's do it again. Let's save it and see what happens. Okay, so we're taking frugal. We've got 34 party wage, 32 party wage. So it does actually help. I think that's more important than the food. We'll have no problem keeping up on food. And I would rather have the, the wage reduction. Yeah, we're not going to be able to use... Let's see, where are you? We're not going to be able to use efficient campaigner. Well, it doesn't matter because that's the one that conflicts with this. And anyways, we're going to want to have companion wages. So it, that's not a big deal. Uh, these are going to be completely wasted. We're not going to get XP for that. Uh, this one, I think probably the workshop. Actually, yeah, leveling up steward on our main is going to be really important because this workshop have 20% increased production. That's going to make a big difference because we are going to have workshops. It's, they're going to help us. Although <laughs> I say that, but then this one is like uh, taking a dump. Uh, we might want to look at swapping this one out, although we only have five grand. So swapping it out right now would cost us two. We have enough. We could probably do it. It might be worth it. I know at some point, I think probably Sm Silversmith is a good one to swap stuff out at and probably smithy sanon has a lot of i believe it has hardwood I'm trying to think what other production they have i think we'll just leave it for now because i don't really want to waste two grand if we don't have to i don't know what a good shop to switch it to is and let's see if we can head down here and finish off this mission yeah, i'm very tempted to start another fight but honestly we can't afford to sit around another full day or that was like three or four days we had to wait to to heal up yep everybody's coming and it is tempting to use the bow and arrow here but we're gonna pass just because a lot of these guys I've noticed, they do have some bow and arrow. Oh, yeah, that guy's already shooting bow and arrow. Oh, he already took somebody out. Oh, to the head. He already shot somebody in the face. We just have to get in there and, and get in people's face. Yeah, he's just going to pick people off. Dang. Right, let's have him. We'll go one at a time. All right, this guy we need to push quickly. All right, luckily, that's just a rock. We can handle that. All right, that should be easy. Oh, man, they're taking our guys out. What is going on here? We've got five left. <laughs> oh, I thought these guys were supposed to be uh, really good, but uh, maybe we need more levels. They're just not experienced enough. All right, any day now. You can help me out, guys. Any day. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All there we go. Stay close. All right. Got to focus here. Really don't want to lose this. All right, he's only got a rock. That should be fine. Die, dog. Nice. All right, these guys. Let's see if we can get to him before. Yeah, he's got a bow and arrow. Would love to not get shot. All right, we stopped him at least. Nice. Now we're doing something. Oh, you're getting hit in the back. Oh, watch your six. There we go. All right, so we're still at five. That's good. All right, so there's a couple here. This guy's got a javelin. He's already engaged. So we can get to him first. Nope. Oh, man, that hurts. Yes. We really need a shield wall. It's so important. Okay, well, we survived. Hopefully we didn't lose anybody there. That would be pretty tragic this early on. And there's no way we're fighting that with as a big group. Hey. 
guy's got really good armor because we're just barely doing any damage to him. Oh man, I'm missing. And they need a longer sword. Alright, let's let him get up a little bit and maybe get the... Nope, no combo. Alright, I'm going to try and thrust on the floor and then maybe kick. Nope, I didn't even get anything that time. I don't know how many hits we can take from this guy, because he's he's really strong. Maybe he's zero, so we may have to be flawless here. Ah, oh, we're just missing everything. Alright, I'm just going to do single hits. Ooh, nice. Try to juke me out. Let him get up a little bit. Oh, there we go. We got him. Oh, that was a tough one. He almost juked us several times. Alright, you fellas are coming with us. All of you. Right, hopefully he's not dead. Bandit boss is dead. Oh, no, we have to do another one after this. We only got one prisoner there. Two prisoners there. And then actually these guys do come with us too, so. 17 renown. Wow. Well, if we weren't clan tier 1 we were before, we are definitely clan tier 1 now. So we can take... These tier 4 guys can convert. These guys will definitely convert. So that'll that'll help. Now, one thing that's going to happen here is we're going to have a pretty big herding penalty, or rather prisoner penalty, 0.67. So we may have to dump quite a few of these guys. Uh, I don't really want to sort through that, so let's do that at the other screen. Let's see what what uh, what kind of upgrades we got. Those shoes should be a good upgrade for somebody. Let's actually just do one at a time. Let's just go down the list. So a little bit of an upgrade on our... <laughs> On our headscarf, our shawl. All right, let's do the 11 armor. We'll go turban for now. Yeah, this guy's got a little upgrade there on the boots. I think everything else is going to be kind of dumpy, so. Uh, but he doesn't even have the shoulder guard, so that should be good. All right, and no helmet. We're going to put a helmet on him. Alan Adale. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else here that's, that's going to be too good. Just little stuff. Probably not too worth even going over. Actually, 11 armor, that's pretty good. Well, they'll... <laughs> People are going to know where we were looting, that's for sure. There's only one place this stuff comes from. No mistake in it. We're now the desert bandits. All right, now we got to avoid getting killed here. That's going to be the tough part. And we got to find that other bandit hideout. Uh, I don't know where it is. And we did pick up another level of, of two-handed, so we might need to do that. Yeah, we've got plenty of room here. So I think probably we'll put another point in a two-handed soon. We'll go swords again. Oh, somebody upgraded here. Alan and Dale. Nice. Uh, our charming boy. So not really all that useful, but kind of tempted to give him some pole arm as well. We're we're gonna really have a bit of a struggle with cavalry, so I think that's probably a good choice. I, I wonder if they're all migrating down to the other bandit camp. I'm curious if that's what's going on here. Cause they're they're just going crazy right now. So everybody's heal up at least twenty percent, so that's good. I'm wondering if it just makes sense to dump all these guys and just keep the tier 4. What does that change our movement speed? Like a 5.1. Makes a pretty big difference. Uh, it, it's it's not going to make a big difference for money. So I think it's probably worth it. I don't think there's another bandit camp over, over here. It looked like they were all moving down here. So we probably need to head that way. And actually somebody did level up. That was our main. Let's put one into two-handed. Yeah, we're not hurting for money yet. But I know once we get into the higher levels, it's going to really make a big difference. Okay, so they're big enough to attack even outnumbered a little bit. Oh, here we go. So we got we got a nice little summary of what we're making. So we earned 1498 from territories and minus 364 from the criminal business. So that's that payment we were making before. And it looks like we're making money off of that, even though we don't have anything upgraded. So we'll, we'll make more money once we get things going. But that's at least we're we're making a little bit. That'll help. Here we go. We found a bit bandit hideout. That's not too bad. And these guys are a little low, I think. Let's cancel. Actually, let's just wait a little bit. Let's wait one more day. That'll put them at full health. Yeah, I think we need everybody tip-top shape if we can. Let's go do that. Let's get these guys up in there. All right, as quick as you can, take them out. Don't let them throw any javelins. Ooh. One tapped. All right, this guy's got the bow and arrow. Nice. No melee for him, or no range for him. I think this is this is going to work out pretty well. We'll just have him follow. All right, there's one guy right there. Get him, boys. Get him. <laughs> Seven versus one. We'll take it. Oh, wow. They're already 
They're already on us. All right, let's get up there without losing anybody, hopefully. I'm worried about this guy in the back. Oh, I just barely turned him. All right, doesn't look like we lost anybody yet. Oh, yeah, we did. That's one of our guys. Shoot. Oh, bow and arrow. Let's see if we can get him to come up here. Oh, he's going to stay down there, isn't he? Ooh. All right, we're doing okay now. All right, next target. <laughs> oh, it feels so nice. They'll take that guy. We'll try and distract this guy. Nope, that's it. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, we did lose one, though. And I th I, th I, still think we have to 1v1 one, one one this guy. Several months later. Oh, I went. I got greedy. <laughs> Impatient and greedy. Alright, this is it. Nope, that's not it. Man, he's tough. This is good practice for the blocking. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. 